Welcome to this Scientific Inquiry Video Lab. But before we can get started, you need to complete the pre-lab research section on your lab report. Pause the video, and when you're ready, start the video again. As your pre-lab research questions showed, we will be looking at surface tension and viscosity in this video lab. So let's get started with the first demonstration with penny and surface tension. The materials for this first demonstration is a penny, a pipette, and some water. So let's see what happens. I'm going to use the pipette and continue to drop drops of water onto the top of the penny and let you observe what happens. Pause the video and complete the Demo 1 set of questions on your lab report. When you're ready, start the video again. Demonstration 2 will also be about surface tension, but with a little twist. Our materials are a cup of water, paper clip, and a small piece of paper towel. So what I'm going to do is I'm placing the paper towel on the water first. And now I'm dropping the paper clip onto the top of it. Notice what is happening. And now in the bowl to the left there is a small amount of dish soap. And what I'm going to do is put a drop of dish soap onto the water and whoa, look what happens. Pause the video and complete the Demo 2 section of questions on your lab report. When you're ready, start the video again. Demo 3 and 4 are going to be a little bit different, and we're going to bring in viscosity into the mix now. So let's look at the materials that we'll be using. I have a cup of water, and we have high viscosity wood glue, guar gum and milk powder. We have food coloring and dish soap. For demonstration number three, we'll be using the high viscosity wood glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this container into the Petri dish, and I'm going to swirl it around and slide it around until it completely covers the bottom of the petri dish. Now that the petri dish is completely covered on the bottom, I'm going to take my red 
food coloring and I'm going to place one drop on top of the glue layer. And now I'm going to take one drop of dish soap and drop it directly on top of the red drop. And let's observe what happens. I'm going to do the same procedure with the blue food coloring, one drop, and then the green food coloring with one drop, and then the yellow food coloring with one drop. And again, I'm placing one drop of the dish soap directly on top of each drop. Pause the video and complete the Demo 3 section questions on your lab report. When you're ready, start the video again. Demonstration number four will be the same procedures, except this time we're going to use a powder. It's a mixture of guar gum and milk powder, and I'm going to fill this container up to the 40 milliliter mark with warm water and I'm gonna shake it really good until it's mixed up completely. Now that I've got it nice and mixed up, I'm going to spread it out into the Petri dish. And once I have it in the Petri dish, this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna have to let it set and gel for about two minutes. So it looks like it's gelled up fairly well. And so now I'm going to do the same procedures that I did the last time. I'm going to use the red food coloring, put one drop in there, and again, one drop of dish soap on top of it. 
and then I'll repeat it with the blue, the green, and the yellow. And now it's time to complete your lab report. Good luck.